Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 15, and speaking of the budget squad, today, we got a rookie Jerry Rice, 92 overall. Now, honestly, this season coming up, we could probably use Jerry Rice for the majority of the season if we play those games truly quickly, but that's not what we're here about. Final Editions dropped today. Let's go check them out. I don't know why, man, but this year, I really don't care for the Final Edition content. Last year, I thought it was really dope. This year, don't really care for it, but since we're doing the budget squad starting a new season, I felt it was only right to check out the new Final Edition card. Now, first up, we got Cole Beasley, Cowboys Love, 90 overall, going for 12,500 coins. Now, this coming up season, we do need a new receiver, 90 for speed, 90 for catching traffic, 90 for release, 93 catch, and 82 elusiveness, but, He's only 5'8", and I think he's too short for the team, man. I think he's too short for the squad. Final edition, basically caught only 37 passes for 420 yards, but finished second on the team in yards after catch. So he's a yak monster. He gets the ball and gets down the field on his own. But I don't know, man. I just think he's too small to scoop up. That's the only thing holding me back from getting Cole Beasley. Next up, we got this DT Jonathan Hankins, and the D-line's pretty much good for this season, but we'll check him out. 77 speed, 97 block shed, 93 power move, 54 finesse move, 83 play rec, and 92 pursuit. Final edition. Finished fifth in the NFL for most sacks by a D tackle with seven. Not too bad. Jonathan Hankins going for 20K way out our budget. Next up, we got Kenyon Lewis of the Saints. This dude, this dude keeps balling out, man. Had a solid season last year, a solid season the year before that. Got a 92 overall final edition. Six foot, 93 speed, 92 man, 96 zone, 90 agility, 93 press final edition. Led his team with 14 pass breakups and top for most on the Saints with two interceptions. Check his catch rating out. Catch rating okay. Okay, 66 catch. Pretty average, pretty average, pretty average, but a solid looking card. Going for going for 30k now? Right at 30k, he probably is a rare card for this set. He has to be rare. Now our last final edition player for this week is Lawrence Timmons, 92 overall middle linebacker, 6 foot 1, 91 speed, 84 block shed, 95 tackle, 98 pursuit, 87 awareness, and 85 play rate. Final edition led the students with 132 total tackles. He also added two sacks and 13 QB hits. Now this week, I don't think we had anything too crazy for final editions, but if you go back a week, a lot of you guys are recommending Ruben Randall. Let's check his stats out. Oh my gosh, he's stupid cheap to 4,500 for 91 overall wide receiver. Great stats, man. 6'3", you guys know I like the height. 94 speed, good enough. 94 release, solid release for such a cheap receiver. And 97 catch in traffic, that's insane. 95 catch. Final edition, Randall called 71 passes for 938 yards with 200 yards earned after a contact. Man, this car looks really good. Looks kind of like a budgety Brandon Marshall, in my opinion. Great height, catching traffic, as well as release. Quickly, let me check his blocking stats. I think I think this definitely might be a receiver we pick up this year. All right, 63 run block, above average. Nothing mind blowing, but yeah, this one was definitely a gem. A few of you guys recommend it, so I think we'll definitely get him. Then, in the same week, we also got Ezekiel Ansa, who's a great defensive end. Let's check his stats out. He's going for a little bit more than 12K, but he has great stats. 88 speed, 96 power move, 86 block shed, 90 strength, 86 tackle, and 80 finesse move. Final edition, uh, to let the Lions of first fumbles and total QB pressures with 54 QB hits and 8 sacks. Now quickly, one last player I wanted to point out, even though we don't really need an upgrade at the halfback position, because we got Spiller, Chris Johnson, 96 speed, they get the job done. A few of you guys recommended DeAnthony Thomas, 87 overall, going for 4,400 coins. I could probably bid on him and scoop him for probably 2 to 3k. He looks cool too, man, 5'8", small guy, which means great agility, great fluidity in the backfield, 96 speed, 96 elusiveness, 96 XL, 87 cure, that's really low, and 67 truck. I don't know, could be on the team, could crack the lineup, be a nice return man, or just be, you know, another back in the rotation. But yeah, there you have it, new final editions, go check them out. Now quickly, before I get out of this video, I want to check one more batch of cards that I know is full of budget gems, and that's the NFL Movers program. We learned this with Harry Douglas, but they spam out cards in this program, so I'm sure it's another one that's really cheap this week. It's just a matter of who it is. So let me go down to buy now, and Harry Douglas and Ayers is the cheapest one in this program. Ayers, 88 speed, 6'3", okay. 4,398 Pursuit, wow, Pursuit I think affects those suction tackles and how good they are at getting those suction tackles. Can he catch a little? He's 6'3", with 81 catch, wow. I should have got this guy instead of P. Willie, don't you think? 95 power, yo, this guy's stats are beast. 85 fit power, that's pretty low though, pretty low. Now quickly, this week's final edition hero, we got a 96 overall, Emmanuel Sanders. Check him out, 5'11", 97 speed, 98 spectacular catch, 92 release, 94 route running, and 95 catch in traffic. Final edition, finished second on his team in receptions and receiving yards while leading his team in earned first downs. 
And that's crazy because he played with Julius Thomas as well as Demarius Thomas. And he was second on his team in receptions and receiving yards and first on his team in earned first down. So that's a pretty impressive step from Mr. Emmanuel Sanders. And it looks cool. Costs a little bit too much though at this stage of my, in my opinion. You know, these short, quick receivers are a dime a dozen right now, but looks cool. Um, there you have it, the guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Now, I usually don't go over the final edition players, which is why I backtrack a little bit this video, but man, it's a lot of final edition gems and a lot of NFL movies gems. So once again, if you're building a budget squad, check those two programs out. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.